What is going on everybody? Welcome to the video. Welcome to Wilmington, North Carolina. You're in for an amazing video with some awesome food. You might as well go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new. I promise you, you will enjoy. <laughs> the humidity here guys but the first thing I noticed about Wilmington is at their Publix they have built bars which I'm super excited about we're gonna talk about them a little bit later in the video you ready to party Ooh. party hard you getting turned up this weekend or what I think to say we're in a tourist trap is an understatement what do you think uh, I think you're right but hey you we're here to party we're, we're tourists right now <laughs> So we're at a place called Havana's. Uh, it looks like they have a mix of everything. Seafood, American food, a little bit of everything. Camera wife over here. Got some crab dip. Start out the night. Volcano shrimp, 9.876 out of 10. That is solid. So I don't know how well you guys can see here, but we got the bacon bison burger with fries. So I'll give you guys the official taste test. I felt a little guilty not getting fresh seafood, but this just looked too good. Nailed it, out of time. Welcome to the next day. Looks like behind us here, they are shooting my new Netflix Netflix special, which would be pretty awesome. Came to get some coffee, what's this place called? Happy Hippies Java Hut. Sounds like, your, sounds like your paradise. Lesson number one, they're shooting Florida Man here in North Carolina, so everything you see online it's a lie, guys. Everyone is lying to you. The government, Netflix, it's all a big conspiracy theory. <laughs> Cameraman can't even look at me. She's just like, I don't know who this guy is. This coffee, 3.265 out of 10. Nice people, nice concept, awful coffee. Oh. <laughs> so as soon as I posted about being down this way, I got at least 10 DMs from people saying we need to go to Brit's Donuts. So. That's exactly what we were doing. So thank you for everyone for the recommendations. If you guys aren't already following me on Instagram, make sure to do so for real time updates. You excited for donuts? I am. I'm pretty pumped for this. So I don't know how well y'all can see, but the line to even get into this place is wrapped around quite far. Is it gonna be worth it? So I'm getting a lot of messages that these are gonna be the best donuts that I've ever had, which I have a hard time believing because if you've ever been to Round Rock Donuts, that is definitely, especially the best glazed donut in the entire world. Greg, if you wanna throw back to those guys, what do you think? Is this gonna be the best donut we've ever had? I hope so. What do you think? I hope so. <sighs> oh. I need some assurance the here. The longest wait. The longest you know, wait for wait. sure. Okay. Yeah. We'll see if it's worth it. The anticipation build up is real. Okay guys, we just waited over an hour for these freaking donuts. So they better be the best donut in the entire world. It's, it's like melting. It's like, ooh. It smells pretty good. Wow, wow. Oh God, crispy outside, but the perfect inside, that soft texture that you would expect in a, in a fresh glaze. Wow, okay. That might be worth the wait. Oh my gosh. I'm glad I got a dozen of myself. It's good. But? I think it's one of the ones, like, it's better when it's hot. I mean, all donuts are, but I can't see me being crazy about them when they're room temp. Very good, very good. I don't know how to do the wait again, Yeah. but I am glad I tried them for the first time. Yeah, very happy with the decision to wait it out. I would never actually wait again for them. If you cho if you gave me that for an hour wait or a Round Rock donut instantaneously, I'm going to Round Rock. But dang, that not the best donut in my life, but it's up there. So this Airbnb, pretty legit. We have this big balcony right off of our bedroom. The ocean is right there about a block away. Really doesn't get too much better. Probably hit up the beach today and then we'll get into some more delicious food. How was the beach? Lovely. Can't see anything? I don't know what you're supposed to show people at the beach. You just kind of <laughs> sit here, get in the water. I know you can make some epic like uh, montage of the beach, like running like Baywatch, so I'll check. All right. Back to the food. Guys, don't worry. I told you, we are gonna talk about Bilt Bars in this video. You'll be all right. 
so it's raining, so my camera's probably gonna get destroyed here, but we're going to a place called Naughty Dogs for a hot dog, which sounds a lot naughtier than it actually is. It's really just a, a gourmet hot dog place, which how do you not go get a gourmet hot dog when you're on vacation? The best margarita I've ever had. I'm not kidding. The best margarita you've ever best. had. The best, I promise you. Glass? I don't know, I think it's no, the it's juice. The it's the juice. Fresh? Yeah. You like it? You like it? She's not lying. The best margarita that. you've ever had. Um, ask me when it's gone, <laughs> and then I'll let you know. But because if it's just like juice, then I'm not gonna be that excited. If it's like packed with tequila, then I'm in. Yeah. That is good. It's not the best margarita I've ever had. It's good. It's, it, it's unlike any other margarita you've ever had. I'm willing to bet. Yeah. It's definitely unique. Yeah. I mean, I'll give it a 9.42 out of 10. So I got the barbecue hot dog, which looks phenomenal. Hot dog, barbecue sauce, bacon, and onion rings or something like that with some chips. I never really had a gourmet hot dog before, but I can't imagine it's going to be bad, so we'll find out. So I typically have a rule that I won't eat hot dogs or bananas on cameras because the internet is a weird place. But you know what? For you beautiful people, I'm going to make an exception. That is great. That's awesome. I just learned at 31 years old that barbecue sauce belongs on a hot dog. Why did I never think about that? With the crunch of the bacon and the onion strips? Oh my gosh. I'm a simple man. When you guys go on vacation, you might like to go to fancy steakhouses and, and all that, all that riffraff. For me, give me a nice little hot dog, some chips. This is living life, baby. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Cheers, my friend. Cheers. Again, I apologize for the humidity, but we made it to the Brooklyn Pizza Company here in Wilmington. It's right off Market Street, if y'all are familiar with the area. We've heard very, very good things about this. And you know, my favorite style pizza is definitely New York style. So let me know in the comments down below. Are you Team Chicago or Team New York style pizza? I love the thin, big slices. It's just the key to my heart. So I'm hoping this stuff lives up to the hype. Dude, got it. That pizza looks great. Yeah, I'm so excited. That shirt looks even better. Yes. Even better. Cuts. All right. So first observation, decent size, a decent size slice of pizza right now. So I've got to go back to Barstool and give you guys one bite. Everybody knows the rules. I would give this 7.9462 out of 10. I think that's a fair, a fair score. It's not the best barbecue chicken pizza I've ever had, but I would definitely eat here again. First thing you have to do is get your wife coffee because if not, it's not gonna be a fun day for anybody. But I hope you guys enjoyed those drone shots. Those were incredible. Probably some of the best shots I've ever gotten. All right, so today we're trying coffee from Moama, not to be confused with Moana, but we got a cold brew with almond milk and a pump of vanilla. Okay, now that's some good cold brew. So if you come to the area, Definitely hit these guys up. That coffee is phenomenal. It's gonna be a beautiful sunny day. We're excited. Take you guys along for the journey as always. Hopefully you're enjoying it so far. And if you are, if you just like the video, all you gotta do is like, click the button. It takes you no money, no time. I appreciate you all, thank you. So we made it to Ocean Grill and Tiki Bar, recommended by Megan. So we'll let you guys know how it is. Camera man, you know, in the Did you not say that I recommended it? I've never been here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the menu is looking pretty good. I'm torn between two things, the fish tacos or the crab cake sandwich. They have built bars here? What? This is the best restaurant of all time. I mean, guys, if it doesn't matter where you're at. You're going to want to get yourselves a built bar. This thing has almost 20 grams of protein. It's only like 150 calories. And check out this consistency. Holy crap. This is like a candy bar. Stuff with protein. This one is incredible. So check your local grocery store. We pick this one up at Publix. If they don't have them, no worries. You can check the link in the description. Use Travis15 to save 50. 15% off your built bars always on their website. You can get all the different flavors. This caramel one 
is absolutely delicious. If you guys have not already had them, definitely check them out. Thanks to Built Bars for sponsoring today's video, and then we'll get back into it. So I'm gonna be trying calamari for the first time ever. I have no idea what calamari is. All that I can really tell is that it's fried, so I feel like if you fry anything, it's gonna be good, and I'm pretty confident I don't want to know what calamari is, because I think it's going to really uh, change the way I even look at this. Now what is calamari? Squid, but it's fried, so it's good. More importantly, how's the margarita? Ooh, forgot to say no salt. Other than that, not too bad. Yeah, enough salt. So yeah. I couldn't come to the beach and not try some fresh fish, so I got some blackened mahi mahi tacos. Looks like an excellent choice. Yeah, they're looking really, really promising, to be honest. I'm very happy with this decision. I'm glad you pulled that line out of there. Yeah, I was about to take, I was about to take a real big bite. <laughs> oh my god, that was so fresh. A little bit of spice, not too bad. That might be the best mahi mahi talk I've ever had in my life. And that's a nice little, um, it's a mix. Out of 10. Out of 10, it was like a 9.427 out of 10. They nailed it. So unfortunately, we've got quite a lot of rain since we've been here. So we're gonna take a trip to the store. Megan's friend's daughter really wants sour strips. She has no idea who Max Tuning is, which I think is very interesting, but she she knows sour strips from Instagram or YouTube or something. So Natalie, if you're watching this right now, we're gonna try to find you some sour strips and if we fail, uh, we apologize, but we're doing our best over here. Before we turn down this aisle, do you think we're gonna be able to find this candy? Yes, I do. I do not. Because it's our lucky weekend, man. I'm not feeling overly really optimistic. Great time. So it looks like we have some off-brand sour strips, uh, sour streamers. I don't think that's gonna cut it. Walmart, no bueno. The airhead sour things, um, but nothing specifically called sour strips. All right, I appreciate you looking. Well, dude, we failed our mission. Walmart, no sour strips. Target, no sour strips. We tried. we tried our best, Natalyn, we're sorry. I'll get you some sour strips, I promise. So we made it down to the river walk. We're gonna go to a place called George's. I believe that's what it's called. Super famous from what I've been told. And the weather's not cooperating too well. At least I got a hot wife, you know, the important stuff. <laughs> so we're gonna all kinda hang out under the, this little canopy. Look at this! Nothing is cooperating right now. <laughs> well, apparently we are not eating at the George because they can't find people to work, which is which is really sad, actually. All right, plan B. We're going to a place called Beer Barrio. All right, so we went with the chicken quesadilla, which looks actually pretty great. That is an amazing quesadilla. That might have been the best quesadillas I've ever had in my life. What do you think about the tacos? It's good. More bueno? Yeah, highly, highly recommend. And if you do come to Wilmington, you have to go to Kilwins. Basics in downtown Wilmington. This was actually the suggestion of my barber, Devin. So shout out to you, my friend. I got the Migas with a, I don't even know what that is, but it looks phenomenal with some pancakes. So I'm excited to jump into this for sure. Oh wow, those Migas, phenomenal. So we learned this is actually a potato cake. Don't know what that is exactly, but I figured I'd at least give it a try. That is like a, Hush Puppy on steroids. Phenomenal. I would say a 9.84710 out of 10. Amazing brunch spot. Definitely, definitely check it out. So, we finally made it home. Little Alfie boy was here waiting on us. He's acting a little strange. I think he's kind of sad that we left him, but it was the longest we had ever left him. It was three days and it was it was a bit challenging, but I really hope you all enjoyed this video. We had a blast making it. Hope you all got some good ideas. If you ever get the chance to go to Wilmington, North Carolina, I really hope you do. If you're watching to this point in the video, I lost my wedding ring in the ocean. So if you're still watching at this point, uh, comment down below, lost wedding ring. Just, I'm always curious if anyone watches to the end, but thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch. I mean, you could be doing anything, anything in the entire world and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. 